Hey folks, welcome to Fresh Produce, I'm Pete from ETI. Now it's getting to be the heart of the summer. I know a lot of you have been out on some long gravel rides, some long uh, endurance pavement rides, probably getting a little beat up out there between the rough roads or, or uh, dirt surfaces that you're on. So today I wanna to take a few minutes to talk about a kind of a new category of stem in our catalog, the suspension stem. Now, there's a couple of different ways to go about this, but we'll run through that. Let's dive in right now and talk about the FSA VAS stem. Basically just a standard stem in the back and then includes an elastomer gripping the bar uh, at the bar side. Now they include a couple of different elastomers with the stem so you can adjust the feel uh, depending on your preferences, fit, weight, etc. cetera. Uh, and that thing's actually bolted in right on its own. So they, I think I like this additional bolt. It's gonna keep it from being too finicky as you're getting it together. Um, but that's a, a great option as just a simple, really secure, adding just a little bit of vibration dampening from FSA. Now, something similar, but done just a little different. Uh, maybe a player you haven't heard of much if you're in the road world, but this is a stem from Trans X. They're really well known for their dropper posts, really inexpensive, but quality dropper posts. And they've got a stem here that's similar to the FSA, but done in a little unique way. So. They do include an elastomer, but here it's actually at the steerer as opposed to the handlebar clamp. I think this is gonna give you a little more leverage as your hands are way out here pushing on the handlebars. Um, and then again, like it's a two piece clamp here at the, at the uh, steer and then a little bit of a pivot in the middle. So that's gonna keep that flex just in the direction that you want it. It's not gonna let the handlebars twist and move too much. So that's a cool addition. Uh, really nice and lightweight and a great price point. So if you're unsure about this category, it could be a good spot to start out with the Trans X. Now, moving right along, the uh, Redshift has really been in this category for a long time. They were probably one of the originators of these you know, uh, performance suspension stems with the Shock Stop. This one's been in our catalog a while and we definitely have the widest range of stem sizes uh, in the Redshift stem. So everything from a six mil, um, you know, kind of a longer to some higher rise, 30 mil rise on the on this one. So if you need some different fits, the Redshift is definitely the way to go. Most availability on sizes. Now they do include a couple of different elastomers in the pack, so you can also adjust the fit of these. But here we're getting like 20 full millimeters of movement at the handlebar. So really doing a lot more on the rougher, uh, rougher surfaces. They recently released a new Shockstop Pro version, just including some titanium hardware and a premium finish. So a little lighter and sure looks good. All right, and that stuff is gonna pair up super well with all of the Redshift unique handlebars and different uh, things just made for comfort on your longer rides, okay? So moving right along, uh, we've got the Cane Creek EE Stil Silk Stem. This one's pretty unique because it's got a lever you can turn on and off that suspension or sort of lock it out if you didn't want it to flex. Uh, it does come with some different elastomers so you can adjust the feel when it is open. Um, and then they recently released the new a new version without the lever. So they found a lot of customers just weren't making the adjustment, weren't turning it off ever. You're not really losing much efficiency, so that seemed like maybe just uh, something they could offer the option without. Another nice point is just, A, the visual aspect of no lever on top, but also you can now mount a computer right over the stem if that's where you like to run it. Um, that lever got in the way in the past. So while we're on the topic of computers and computer mounts, I'd like to just take a quick aside and show you this really cool new Cane Creek computer mount that fits on their stem, it would work just fine with um, their lever version of the stem because it actually sits out in front of the faceplate. So it's coming with a set of bolts that replace your faceplate bolts and then another screw threads into the front of that one here. Um, now this is not just for Cane Creek stems. It's gonna really fit any stem that uses M4 bolts that are spaced between 22 and 35 millimeters. Pretty nice uh, functionality there, a lot of adjustment available. Um, and then you can run it in tons of positions, top or bottom, facing either direction, and then there's a pivot as well. You can adjust the angle of your computer. Comes with mounts for Garmin, 
for Wahoo computers. Um, yeah, cool new, uh, you know, slick way to mount the computer out in front. And it definitely works with that levered version of the stem. All right, so if you're getting on some of those longer rides and you think you'd like to add some comfort to your bike, make sure you check out one of these options, ask at your local bike shop and tell them BTI sent you.